as the Sacramento Pride Festival turns 44 this weekend. We're super excited for our entertainment this year. Thousands are expected to fill Capitol Mall for its annual celebration. I think this year Pride is a statement to be made and with all the anti-LGBTQ plus hateful speech going around, it's really important that events like Pride um, continue and it's important to attend these events because it shows community, it shows uh, diversity and it shows that we have power in numbers. Once a fraction of what Pride looks like now. It was tiny, right? It was not as big as how we have it on the Capitol Mall. So it just shows you how much it's grown since then. And that shows the community coming together. It shows how strong Sacramento is. It's expected to bring between 18,000 to 20,000 people during the two-day event. And it's still prioritizing its resources and awareness. Within the last week, the Sacramento LGBT Community Center was able to up testing and monkeypox vaccines as they promoted pride. And with less than 24 hours left, there's still time to celebrate even if you can't pay for your ticket. If anyone is struggling to purchase a ticket, we do have an equitable distribution system. So all they have to do is contact one of uh, the organizers here and we can get them set, set up. Multiple artists and local vendors will be filling up the strip blocking off traffic on Capitol Mall from 3rd to 7th Streets. The event kicks off tomorrow from 12 to 9 p.m. And then on Sunday morning, that event starts at 11 o'clock at Southside Park, where a march is taking place. It ends right here at Capitol Mall, where then the event is happening from 12 to 6 p.m. In downtown Sacramento, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News.